you sneaking out early? Thought that would be Cameron. No one's sneaking anywhere. Not anymore. Not after you broke the news at Jenny's wake. Nice touch, by the way. Oh, about Casey, you actually think I wanted it to come out like that, dude? Don't know what is going on in that head of yours these days. At least days. Cameron had the guts to come clean. Yeah, after she already sussed him. Do you have any idea what I went through for you, turning my back on Chaz? I kind of look a bit of a prat now. Oh, of course, because it's all about you, isn't it? <sighs> Debbie, listen to me, please. It is not too late to get out of this. How many more times? We love each other. Why is that not enough? Because guys like him cannot love. I need to pick Sarah up. All right, you broke the news to her yet? Yeah? I'm going to be telling her later, yeah? Just waiting for the right moment, are you? Well, don't bother, because there won't be one. You OK? That's what comes from living in a goldfish bowl. Can't avoid your mistakes. All making the same old ones. A few months ago, she was ready to kill him. Now that's all been forgotten, hasn't it? Because he's conveniently changed his mind. Well, maybe they were always destined to be together. The only destiny Cameron deserves is to be castrated. And with any luck, I'll be the one doing it. I thought your mother was scary, but her? Mm, don't remind me. <sighs> Gina, I'm glad you're back. Your brother's gonna need all the help he can get. I can't believe he's handling as well as he is. Well, all the same. He's gonna need something to focus his energies. Oh, yeah? So what do you have in mind? Not here. I've brought you some flowers. Not the most original idea. Right. Well, it's a kind thought. Let's hear it, then. What? Well, we both know this isn't just about the flowers. Look, I know now's not exactly the right Will time. Will I say anything? Yes, Katie told me about what's been going on. Well, whatever she said. I couldn't give a monkeys about. Not now. Bad time. You noticed? I'll leave you to it. Right, well, yeah, on um, second thoughts, maybe you should keep these. Uh, I'm sorry, again, about Jenny. You come to pretend that you're sorry and all. Would you believe me if I said I was? About Debbie getting her own back. About Jenny. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why? It's what you wanted, isn't it, to see me suffer? Yeah. You're right, and do you know what all those words I said? I meant everyone. This is your idea of an apology, is it? No, it's my way of saying enough is enough. Yes, I wanted you hurt, but never like this, no. Right, well, you've said your piece, you can go. I haven't finished. I know what Jenny meant to you, and I should have been there for you. And I'm damned if I'm going to let that deceitful little man whore ever come between us again, right? Because he's ruined too many lives for that. So what do you reckon? Just supposed to forgive and forget, am I? Well, if I can, yeah. Come here, you stupid girl. So where is he now? Oh, hiding under a rock if he's got any sense. Mm. What are you going to do, Chaz? Meaning, am I going to drag Debbie to some abandoned farmhouse? What would that achieve, eh? Apart from another funeral. Debs. Didn't take you too long to patch things up. What do you want, Debbie? I need to know when you're planning to kick off. Get your revenge. That is the idea, right? Oh, this again. Don't you think I've got a bit more on my plate than you copping off with me ex? Oh, sorry, <laughs> your ex. Do what you want to me, Chaz. 
I probably deserve it. All I'm asking is that you let me tell Sarah first. I told you, I just want this to end. Yeah, and I don't believe you. Don't push it. Look, please, promise me that you will leave Sarah out of this. Did you not just hear what she said? You really think I want anyone else to suffer after this? Go and tell Sarah your happy little news. I'll try not to rain on your parade. And that's it. Well, sorry, I ruined your life, now you've ruined mine. I'd say that makes us about even, don't you? I'd say that's your cue to leave. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. You played a blinder. I mean, about Jenny. If there was anything else that I could have done. Actually, there is one other thing. You can stay as far away from me as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like a bit of time on my own. Yeah, sure, okay, I'll call by later. I won't feel too bad. Because I'll probably be back with her within the week. Take a lot of guts. Slip it in the back while no one's looking. You think I'm frightened about what people think? Well, you should be. Ah, oh, well, there you go. See, now I'm scared. Just don't get comfy. You think a little black eye is going to change anything, Kane? You're wrong. It doesn't. You still all talk. Is that right? It must kill you inside to think that you know what's best for Debbie, yet instead she picks me. You ever thought that that might be because I'm what's best for her? You? Yeah. So, listen, I'll tell you what. How about we agree to disagree, and then we'll save each other a whole load of trips to A&E? Deal? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that would make things easier. I don't do it easy. Maybe this is for your own good. So you knew? That's why you went round there. You were planning no, I it. You, I have no idea about anything. anything. I don't know. Listen to me. I don't He's know. He's going to kill you. I can't live without him. Right, you must have some idea. Did he say anything? I don't know. I think. Maybe. Where? Where? The quarry. No, Deb, wait. Let me come with you, babe. Just open the door, babe. Let me get in and I'll come with you. Why the quarry? Because that is where we were going to take him last time. To do what? Well, put it this way, it involves a car and a cliff. Missing a great view over here. Not another living person as far as the eye can see. Fine. Listen, Kane, you know what? You made your point now. Let me out of here, yeah? Then how are you going to enjoy the ride? Right. Hope you've got a good head for eyes. Right, Kane. I know you hate me for what I've done, but seriously, you think you're going to get away with this? <laughs> well, the way I see it, I've tried everything else. I've pleaded with her, I've turned my back on her, I've even cleared up after a little crime spree. We can sort this out, OK? Mm, that's why we're going to have to agree to disagree. Really? You're going to kill me for loving her? <laughs> you call what you did to her loving. <laughs> right, OK, fine. Listen, you let me go, I swear I will never hurt Debbie or Sarah again. You're never going to get the chance to let them down again. <laughs> you do this, won't forgive you, OK? Won't, won't just be me you're killing. Yeah. Today it will be. Kane! You 
touch one hair on his head and I'm telling you I'm going to the police and you will never, never see me and the kids again, right? What is it you want me to do, huh? You want me to say I'm going to leave her and then you're going to let me go, yeah? Well, well I can't. So you're going to have to kill me if you have to, but, but I'm not going to betray her. A betray her? I've already done that one. Kane, please, listen, I know, I know I've messed up, but... Never, not for one second, have I ever stopped loving Debbie. Please, just tell her that. I'm not going to tell her anything because, as far as she's concerned, you will have done a runner just like you did last time. You don't want to do this. This will haunt you for the rest of your life. Yeah, well, I will live with that. But, Kane, please, please, listen. Listen. Right. If you think wiping a few fingerprints is going to... is going to make a difference, they're going to know it's you, and then where will Debbie be, OK? Don't, that means Sarah and her will be without the both of us. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, give me one last chance and I swear I will not let her down. I mean, I came back to her, right? That must mean something. Well, you think she should be grateful? Well, no! Yeah, well, maybe she... she will lose me, but you know what? It'll be worth it. Kane! No! <sighs> Kane! Kane! Yeah. Kane! No! Please, no! Get me, get me no! Out. I'm not gonna let me hurt you, do it again! Open these doors now! No! You give me no choice! God! What do you think you're doing? You're gonna kill him, do it! You have to go over me first! I thought I heard you come in. I wasn't sure if you wanted company. Oh, sweetheart. It's not what you think. What do you mean? I think I might have just killed Cameron. What? Have you heard anything? Like she's gonna call me? No, I meant Kane. I can't get hold of him. Right, stop there, the pair of you, and tell me what's going on. Yesterday, Kane sort of suggested that it'd be a lot easier if Cameron disappeared. And? I agreed. And now he's taking him. And what if I've sent Debbie to the wrong place? She's never gonna forgive me for this. You have to call the police. Well, we can't. Kane will go to prison. You'd rather he killed Cameron. Oh, God. Debbie, for God's sakes. So what's it gonna be? You're gonna kill me as well now, yeah? Look, the whole thing could go any second. Debbie, don't be stupid. Listen to him. He's talking, Seth. Let him out! Oh, for God's sake, Kane, this has gone far enough. Shut up! You were ready to blow Chassie's brains out because of what he'd done to yeah, you. Yeah, because I loved him! And now I've got a chance to be happy again and you're gonna take it away from me! Kane, you're gonna get a kill! You don't see why I'm doing this for you. Because I love you! Then let me lead my life! Kane! You're going to choose him over your family. Don't make me have to. Oh, oh very touching. If you can just walk away from me. Cameron, no! Get out of me, but you could have killed her. Get you gone far too Let far! Me. Don't go far enough! I just want this to end! Looks like I'm not the only one with hollow threats. You come near me again, I'll say the big words. Do you know what? I wish you both the best of luck. Something tells me you're gonna need it. 